Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery and this is today's Five Minute Friday and as we get into the cooler months in the UK we turn our attention often to houseplants. Uh, so there's still loads of gardening you can do outside um, but if you're anything like me you still want to be in t-shirts so we turn our attention a little bit to houseplants. So what we're going to do today is take some cuttings from this really really nice Skindapsis. This is Treby which I think has got this lovely leaf and almost like a marbled effect to the leaf. And we're actually going to take the cutting and we're going to put it in water. There's loads of different ways of doing it. Um, when we do it, we take cuttings and we put them in compost, straight in compost, but in water, um, it's quite satisfying to do because you get to see the progress under, under compost. You obviously can't see the root growth. Plus, a lot of people find it nice and easy to do. And it's easy. These are just old jam jars, an old kilner jar, an old jam jar there. That I've just put a little bit of water in. One thing to do is make sure that your water is warm. Um, and I don't mean hot. What I mean is run it out of the tap and just leave it at room temperature where the plant has been. There's sometimes this time of year, depending where you are in the country, um, you'll run water, cold water from the tap and it will be really, really cold. And we don't want to shock the plant too much. Probably won't come to any harm, but just something to bear in mind. So we're going to do it in a couple of different ways. Basically exactly the same thing, but I've got one big jar and obviously one small jar. So here, we're going to cut the cut in here and as you can see these nodules here, this is where we're gonna get the root from. So this one here, we're gonna take this cutting and put it in this pot, this jar, sorry. So it's just as simple as cutting it off, just like that. Um, and literally just putting it in the water. So sometimes it's quite a big leafed variety sometimes you have to squeeze it a little bit the water's not all the way to the top but i'm literally just gonna pop it in the water there so i want this little nodule bit to be in the water so i'm going to tuck it i'm going to actually bend it just like that so we've got the water in the pot and if it doesn't which that doesn't fit all that well you can always take some leaves off so what i do with that is literally just take these bottom leaves off just like that, okay, to make it fit a little better, just like that. But the plant didn't come to any harm trying to squeeze it in, um, so you want to know where it's going to fit. I hadn't taken the cutting before, so the water line is up to here, so we've got four of those, those bits where we're going to produce underwater. So we just leave that at room temperature, put it on a windowsill, it doesn't have to be on a windowsill, but put it on a windowsill, uh, put it somewhere that's warm, what you'll find potentially, especially if it's a windowsill, somewhere that's nice and light, over time you might get a bit of green algae. Um, what I would do in that case is leave it for a little while. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit green, but if it does go really, really green, tip the water out, hold the plant like this, tip the water out and put some more water in. Um, but you'll be surprised how quickly it will start producing roots. So with this one here, I'm just gonna put one in there. It's a smaller pot, so I'm just going to cut this off. And again, we want that little nodule to be under the water, just like that. So exactly the same process. This one, potentially, we're going to get more root forming, but that one's going to grow just as well as, um, so absolutely no problem at all. And with the plant here, this is just going to produce more and more. And actually what you often find by taking the cutting, this will spur this into even more growth. This pot here is something we did on a five minute Friday, sort of, I don't know, about four or five weeks ago, um, where we potted it up just to produce effectively a mother plant. So this is what we're doing now. We potted this up, it's more established, then we're producing the cuttings. Um, so it's as simple as that. If you've got any questions at all, um, get in contact. This will work for every single skin dapsis that we grow. Um, so it works really, really well. Um, any questions, get in contact. See you soon.